Hello friends, our topic for discussion is enthusiasm and it's a very fun, lively, joyful topic. So with that spirit of joy, let's begin as we always do by reading from the Affirmations for Self-Healing by Swami Kriyananda. Swamiji writes, Enthusiasm is the spirit of joy channeled through the power of the will. If we want to know joy, we must live always in the full expectation of it. Not even earthly happiness can come to those who demand it glumly or who work for it with their eyes to the ground. To achieve happiness, one must work with happiness. To achieve divine joy, one must be keenly enthusiastic in everything one does. Never presume. Never brush aside that subtle feeling of doubt which attends false emotional enthusiasm. Try always to let God's joy express itself through you. Thus, your enthusiasm will grow, eventually to become His joy. Many beautiful insights in this short reading Swamiji has shared with us. And the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, the advice of a popular teacher, Dale Carnegie, uh, of the 20th century. And he had a very uh, popular axiom that many people benefited from. And he said, act enthusiastic and you'll be enthusiastic. And he used this formula, he gave it to people, asked them to really diligently apply it in their lives. And before that, these people had been failures in their life, not able to accomplish anything. But as soon as they started acting enthusiastic, they started manifesting the success they were always hoping for. And why was this working, you may ask. So, you know, for example, a salesperson or person working, you know, in any other sector, let's say, if they are enthusiastic about what they do, why are they suddenly more successful than before? The secret lies in the understanding of energy. Enthusiasm, as Swamiji writes, is the spirit of joy channeled through the will. And Yogananda Ji gave a very important axiom when it comes to energy and the principles of energy. He said, the greater the will, the greater the flow of energy and I'll tell you the second part of the axiom just in a moment. But let's just explore the first part. The greater the will, the greater the flow of energy. So when we really want to do something, when we are trying to be enthusiastic about something, we suddenly have more energy, right? So let's just imagine that it's been a long day at work for you. You come home and what do you see in the kitchen sink? Piles of dishes that you have been avoiding. Uh, washing for a couple of days now. Now you're very tired and you know, it's understandable that you want to rest before you get to those dishes. And so you go rest on the couch and you're resting. And after five minutes, a long time friend of your call, uh, calls you and says that you, you know, the friend is in the town and they are inviting you to come and see them, to meet them out for a coffee. And suddenly you say, oh, yes, yes, I'm coming. It's been such a long time. I would love to meet you. And you get all excited, all enthusiastic, rush out of the house, spend a nice time with them, come back, go to sleep. And the dishes are, of course, still there. <laughs> However, the key point here is, where did that energy come from? Just, um, you know, a few minutes ago, you were too tired to do the dishes and now you suddenly had the energy to go out and spend that evening with your friend. The answer lies in the will. The greater the will, the greater the flow of energy. The more we desire something, the more energy we can draw from its infinite source, from its cosmic source, to bring that into manifestation. Now, the second part of the axiom is, the greater the flow of energy, the greater the magnetism. 
So let's go back to 8th grade basic science where we learn the principles of electromagnetism and what happens there is when electricity flows through an electrical wire it creates an, uh, a magnetic field around it. So similarly in humans magnetism is also a scientific phenomenon. So in humans the wire so to speak is the spine and the energy is flowing through the spine the yogis tell us and so the more energy that flows through our spine the greater will be our magnetism and another word for magnetism is aura so this magnetism which is greatly amplified with the amount of energy that is flowing within us as a result of us trying to act enthusiastic what happens is our magnetism increases and then it starts to attract toward us opportunities, circumstances, situations, the right people, the right connections, uh, the right thoughts, the right ideas and all of these things together help us to become successful in anything that we are trying to do. So that is how enthusiasm leads to eventual success and that is why Dale Carnegie said, act enthusiastic and you'll be enthusiastic. I also remember <clears throat> the lines to one of Swami Kriyananda's songs, Secret of Laughter. And I would like to sing some of those lines for you. The secret of laughter lies in the laughing, not in the search for joy. It's a swallow winging on the wind, it's innocence in a boy. Luru luru lero, luru luru lai. Joy will come to anyone whose heart has learned to fly. Luru luru lero, luru luru lai. Joy will come to anyone whose heart has learned to fly. It has such a beautiful melody, which is why I wanted to sing it for you and not just repeat the words. But you see, what Swamiji is saying in those lyrics is, joy will come to anyone whose heart has learned to fly. Not that joy will come to anyone who has a big car, or joy will come to anyone when one wins the lottery or gets a promotion or n number of things or phrases you can fill that blank with. But joy is something that is, you know, within. Joy is within. That is the motto of Ananda. And joy is really not a reward. Joy is not the reward of, you know, toiling away your life for so many years and at the end Perhaps after retirement you think, oh, now I have some time to enjoy my life. No, joy is not the reward, Swamiji said. He said joy is the solution. In other words, if you feel that you are not joyful, you have to bring joy, you have to manifest joy in everything that you do, to do everything with enthusiasm. Yoganandaji said something very similar. He said, if you choose to be happy, no one can make you unhappy. And if you choose to be unhappy, no one can make you happy. And isn't it so? We talk to people who are depressed, low, sad, and no matter what you say, no matter how much you try to cheer them up, they can't come out of their mood unless they really want to come out of it. Because they have decided for some reason or the other to be unhappy and you cannot make them happy. So similarly, if we can choose to be on the positive side of that statement, if we can choose to be happy and joyful, instead of waiting for happiness to come to us eventually or waiting for joy to come to us, we have to learn to do the things we do with joy. And even in meditation, Swami Kriyananda said that if you want joy, meditate with joy. Meditate with that sense of joy that you are sitting to spend time with your Divine Beloved. That you are drawing closer to God and experiencing your truer self. And if you meditate with that sense of joy, you are bound to feel joyful. But if you meditate because you have to or because it's a discipline or you said you would so that's why you're doing it 
it's good to stick to your practice but with that sort of attitude it's hard that you're going to feel the joy that you're hoping to feel so the thing is finally to put it all into one sentence is to find joy we have to be joyful and we don't have to wait for things to make us enthusiastic we have to be enthusiastic from within to Im imbibe those things those actions with enthusiasm and that is why swami kriyananda ji writes to achieve divine joy one must be keenly enthusiastic in everything one does and when you can be enthusiastic in what you're doing now then your whole life will be filled with joy and it doesn't matter what you're doing whether you're stuck in traffic whether you're washing the dishes whether you're watching a beautiful sunset with your partner or whether you're having a great time at a restaurant out somewhere or you're sitting in meditation if you do everything with enthusiasm as swami ji promises your life will be filled with divine joy and finally i would like to also add that enthusiasm is very different from excitement you know excitement also leads to a lot of energy as you can see in young children but that excitement takes them outward that excitement spends energy but enthusiasm takes the mind inward it connects us to the cosmic source of energy so we can keep drawing in more and more energy through the use of the will and that is the difference between enthusiasm and excitement if we are too excited if we get riled up with our emotions we'll make bad deci bad decisions bad judgments and just like the child who keeps on running for an hour and then eventually tires down and falls asleep we too will have our ups and downs until we learn to take our enthusiasm inward and operate from that level of centered divine joy in everything that we do so with all that said now let us practice the affirmation on enthusiasm which is very simple but profound let's close our eyes sit up straight focus at the point between the eyebrows and affirm in a loud voice energetically with enthusiasm remember repeat after me in everything i do my enthusiasm soars to embrace infinity in everything i do my enthusiasm soars to embrace infinity in everything i do my enthusiasm soars to embrace infinity now in a whisper taking it deep into the subconscious mind in everything i do my enthusiasm soars to embrace infinity in everything i do my enthusiasm soars to embrace infinity in everything i do my enthusiasm soars to embrace infinity and now mentally only gazing up at the spiritual eye the point between the eyebrows directing all your attention there your energy your consciousness and affirm mentally only in everything i do my enthusiasm soars to embrace infinity in everything i do my enthusiasm soars to embrace infinity in everything i do my enthusiasm soars to embrace infinity just take a few seconds to let that thought sink in deeply into your consciousness and offer this prayer with me silently o perfect bliss guide me that i express thee through my every feeling 
May my enthusiasm be a channel for thy joy. Joy to you, my friends. <clears throat>